Is your stapler not setting the staples deep enough? You might have a damaged driver. The driver attaches to the piston and is the part that actually drives the staple in the wood. After years of use, the steel the driver is made of will begin to fatigue. Once the metal becomes weakened, the end of the driver can chip or break off. Often when the staple is being driven into something hard, such as a dense knot or through a piece of metal flashing. The driver can also be broken as the result of an accident, like shooting too long of a staple into a piece of wood that is on top of a concrete surface. The sudden shock of the staple hitting the concrete can break off the driver. The broken and now shorter driver won't be able to drive staples as deep as it once had, often not countersinking them. Replacing a damaged driver is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the top cap. Now remove the head valve assembly. Now remove the retainer. Now remove the cylinder and the piston. I'll just pull this out as one unit. Now remove the driver from the piston. The driver is held in place with a couple of roll pins. First I'll remove the center smaller roll pin and then the larger outer roll pin. I'll support the piston on my vise and use a punch to remove the roll pins. Now I can install the new driver. First I slide the driver into the opening on the piston. Now I'll secure the new driver to the piston with the roll pins. I'm using new roll pins for this. You don't want to use the old ones because they may be too compressed already to properly hold the driver in place. If these fall out while you're using the gun, they can damage the cylinder and the piston. Okay, now I have the larger roll pin in place, and now I install the smaller one through the center of the large one. Before I install the driver assembly back into the cylinder, I want to lubricate the cylinder. I'll use a little bit of air tool oil to do that. I'll just spread that around so I have a nice even coat in the cylinder. Now I can slide the driver and piston assembly into the cylinder. I'll push this through so it's about halfway, so the piston's about halfway through the cylinder. That'll make it easier to line up the driver with the opening in the nose piece in the gun when we reassemble this assembly. The bumper fell out of the gun during disassembly. So now I'll go ahead and reinstall the bumper into the bottom of the cylinder. And now this is ready to go back into the gun. I'll line the driver with the nose piece. And now I can slide all of this into the gun. And I'll press it down until the cylinder seats. Now reinstall the retainer.
And I'll finish up by reassembling the head. First comes the head valve, then the cap, the filter, and the top cover. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.